Hi friends, welcome to ISS Santosh. Guys, in this video, we are going to discuss a very serious matter that is option elimination method dead in the UPSC prelims examination. Okay, because after the prelims examination yesterday, I have been receiving a lot of messages. Okay, targeting at my option elimination strategies on YouTube on telegram saying that sir not a single question can be eliminated and your option elimination method has flopped so guys i have taken that challenge and i am going to solve the upsc prelims 2023 paper yesterday paper and i will solve the paper at least 20 to 25 question using my option elimination guys the intent of making this video is not to reply to those troll messages on my YouTube channel or my Telegram channel, but to help sincere aspirants who are struggling to crack the prelims examination and who are falling into the trap of vested interest because they want you not to learn this optional arrangement tricks. Guys, this year's prelims examination, I have predicted more than 70 questions and at least 20 to 25 question in the UPSC prelims examination you can solve using my optional elimination method and today I am going to solve these questions using my methods in front of you and this is a clear message to those students guys if you do not want to learn at least don't disturb other people who are okay with pure intent are willing to help other aspirants sincere aspirants guys let me start the session guys what i have done is that i have picked only those questions which can be solved using my optional elimination trick which i have already shared in my optional elimination webinar so guys please listen to this video very attentively this video will definitely help you for basically preparing for civil services prelims 2024 particularly people who are in their first attempt second attempt this video is going to be very important because Many students are getting misguided by various coaching institutes that optional elimination method is dead. I am going to prove that at least 50 marks you can score only by optional elimination. And if you are in my test series, if you are in my lecture test series, if you are there in my Optima test series, you will be able to easily score 120 marks in this year's paper. I am going to prove that. But in this video, I am just going to show you optional elimination method, how you can solve 25 questions in the UPSC problems examination. Guys, let us start. Let us see this question 88. Okay, consider the following statement. Ballistic missiles are jet propelled at subsonic speeds throughout their flight, while cruise missiles are rocket propelled only in the initial phase of flight. Agni 5 is a medium range subsonic cruise missile, Brahmos solid fuel intercontinental ballistic missiles. Guys, I have already told you in these kind of questions where two things ballistic missiles and cruise missiles will be there. And what they will do, they will interchange, they will interchange, this is called law of interchange, this is called what, law of interchange, okay, law of, or principle of interchange, okay, principle of interchange, okay, you see here, here also what UPSC has done is that, okay, it has changed Agni 5 with Brahmos and Brahmos with Agni 5, so guys, this technique I have already shared in my YouTube channel, in my optional element webinar. But the problem is that no one is attempting my tests. If you don't attempt my test, you will not be able to master these techniques because most of the coaching institutes, they do not incorporate this elimination techniques. Only in the UPSC paper and in my test series, you will get this optional elimination technique. Then only you will be able to master. If you do not master, then obviously you will fail in the examination. Guys, so the answer is neither one nor two okay because they are asking correct both are incorrect because they have just changed agni 5 with brahmos and ballistic with cruise missile guys one question okay i'll keep on writing one question we have solved okay using optional elevation method okay so two marks we have got let us go further let us go further consider the following statements carbon fiber are used in manufacture of components used in automobiles and aircraft okay statement two carbon fibers once used cannot be recycled guys cannot be recycled cannot be recycled is an extreme statement cannot be recycled is an extreme statement so this statement is incorrect and since it is a science-based question and in science-based question 
possibility okay are used in this 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 so generally those will be correct so answer will be one only answer will be one only so we are using that okay principle of extremes principle of extreme the okay, principle of extreme okay and we are using principle of possibility in sign based question principle of possibility okay guys so this answer will be one only very easy question question number 83 from set b carbon fibers cannot be recycled it can be recycled okay so guys two question we have four marks let us read this question number 20 let us read this question number 20 okay guys you see here the supreme court of india has held in judgment that reservation policy is made under article 164 of the constitution india would be limited by article 335 For maintenance of efficiency of administration, guys, anyone who has read the constitution, who has read Lakshmi Kant, can easily say that yes, this statement is correct. But the second statement, you see, statement two, Article three three five of the constitution, India defines the efficiency of administration. Guys, defines. I have given the technique whenever constitution defines, constitution exemplifies, constitution explains. Generally, those statements will be incorrect. so second statement is incorrect so first statement is correct second statement is incorrect so the answer is option c you see here okay we have to apply okay principle of principle of okay constitution defines constitution defines okay this is the principle we have to apply generally those statements are incorrect so you can see how easily you can solve so three questions i have solved okay let us go to the next question guys next question is on okay next question is on central bank Digital currency. This question I had predicted with reference to central bank digital currency. Consider the following statements. It is possible to make payments in digital currency without using dollars or SWIFT system. Guys, possible and central bank digital currency. It is all about technology, about science. So generally, possibility always correct. Second, a digital currency can be distributed with a condition programmed into such that. Time frame for spending it must be given. Means some time frame will be there. Within that time frame only you have to use that. So here also can is used. So both statement are correct. Science possibility. So answer is C. Here the rule is principle of. Here the rule is principle of possibility in science based question. Okay. So we have how many questions? How many questions we have solved? Let us count. Okay. Let us count, guys. Okay. So we have here. Okay. One, two, three, and then we have four. We have four questions. Okay, means we have eight marks. We have got eight marks. Okay, till now we have got eight marks. Let us now go to the next question. Let us now go to the next question, guys. Next question. Okay, with reference to coal-based thermal power plant, consider the following statement. None of them uses sea water. None of them, guys. I have told you extreme statements are generally incorrect. None of them are set up in water distress district. Again, this is extreme statement. Correct? Incorrect. Again, you see none of them is privately owned. This is obviously incorrect. So you see, answer will be how, how many of the above statements are correct? So none of them above are correct. So here, principle of here we are using what? Principle of extreme. Principle of extreme. You see here, five questions we have got, ten marks we have already got. Ten marks. Many people are struggling to even score sixty marks in this paper, and ten marks I have gifted you just free of cost. Now let us see. Let us go further. See, the problem with the student is the mentality. and the problem is most of the people who are guiding the civil service aspirant they are not guiding they are misguiding they are making their life tough you go and you ask any optima student you go and you ask any lecture student who has been my student for the last one year everyone is getting more than 90 most of them are going to get get 90 because they have used this optional elephant technique and most of the other guys they have failed to use the optional elephant technique and that's why they are struggling look okay, let us see okay consider the following statements some mushrooms have medicinal properties some mushrooms have psychoactive properties some mushrooms have insectile insecticidal properties some mushroom have bioluminescence property this year i had predicted that definitely one question of bioluminescence is going to come and this question has come guys some 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 rule of some some says what always correct always correct some so the answer is all four so the answer is all four so we have 12 marks six question guys Okay. Next, you see. Consider the following statements. Marsupials are not naturally found in India. Guys, this is a very common knowledge. Marsupials are not found in India. This is a very common thing. If you don't know this, then obviously your general awareness is very poor. Next statement, you see. Marsupials can thrive 
only in mountain grassland with no predators that's only okay you can eliminate that only okay so this statement is wrong so one statement is correct second statement is incorrect one statement is correct second statement is incorrect so option is c you see another question we have got next you see okay consider the following statements some microorganisms can grow in environment which temperate temperature above the boiling water some microorganisms can grow some and can possibility correct some microorganisms can grow in environment with temperatures below freezing point of temperature some and can again correct some microorganisms can grow in highly acidic environment with ph below 3 this also is correct so answer is all three simple rule some and possibility some and possibility size possibility and some always correct so we have the answer again next question consider the following aerosols foam agents fire retardants lubricants guys in the making of how many of the above hydrofluorocarbons are used guys in science based questions i have already told always answer will be all of this so answer is all four you can write easily all four is the answer let us go to the next question guys okay consider the following statements ports well known for kamaraj port first port in india to be registered as a company mudra port largest privately owned port visakhapatnam port largest container port guys here you see largest largest is two times i have already told whenever two things will be repeated only one will be true and one will be wrong i have already told when two things are repeated only one will be true and one thing will be wrong so guys the answer will be only two because one will be right one will be wrong so guys many people are saying that because of only one only two only three question has become tough guys actually it has become very easy because easily you can eliminate and you can get the answer answer is only two because one will be wrong largest largest okay so only one largest will be true okay so this simple guys i don't know what is the problem with the indian okay students preparing for the civil service i don't know they are getting carried away by okay by people whom they should not get carried away guys you are going to waste your precious year you are going to waste your dream of becoming a civil servant if you do not master these techniques guys i can help you master this technique because i myself have done it and i have scored one of the highest marks consecutively in the upsc examination i have cracked the upsc prelims examination six times and you can see here when the entire country is saying that optional elimination has failed i am scoring 50 marks just by optional elimination 50 marks without knowledge 50 marks without knowledge you can see here you can see here answer is only two let us go and all these techniques i have already used i have already explained in my optional elimination webinar if you have watched my webinar please do comment in the comment box and people who have commented who have abused me in telegram who have abused me on uh, youtube and whatsapp please i request you i request you guys okay see i cannot abuse you back because i am a gandhian i am a gandhian i believe in gandhian philosophy okay but i am concerned about you i am concerned about you that you are getting carried away you are wasting your attempt that is the reason i am pointing it out if i don't point it out then you will not understand your mistake because as a teacher it is my sole responsibility that i have to correct your mindset also not just i have to teach i have to correct your mindset i have to help you that is my responsibility and as a teacher i cannot leave that responsibility and i cannot restrict myself to just teaching guys let us resume okay next question next question consider the following statements india has more arable land than china the proportion of irrigated land area is more in india as compared to china the third is the average productivity per hectare in india agriculture is higher than china guys even a class 8 9 student who has read the ncert can easily eliminate third option third option is incorrect okay and guys if you have little bit knowledge of geography if you have little bit knowledge of geography you know that india india okay is very small compared to china in size okay china is very big india is very small and we all know basic information that india has one of the highest arable land one of the highest arable land i think after america india is the second okay so india has more arable land than china because you see the china if you see the geography china is 
okay having cold desert and very okay very less area of china is basically arable okay so when the first statement is correct automatically the second statement becomes correct because the proportion of irrigated land will be obviously more okay so obviously answer will be only two i hope you got the logic i hope you got the logic okay guys and obviously you see india we have a lot of rivers we have a lot of rivers okay so overall we have okay we have rainfall also so overall you see india is always known as an agriculture dominant country agriculture dominant country why because india has one of the largest arable land india has one of the largest irrigated land okay this is a common sense we are reading this from childhood i hope you also have read it in ncert this was a very basic question very easy next let us see okay consider the following statements interest incomes from deposits of infrastructure investment trusts distributed to their investors is exempted from tax but dividend is taxable guys i have given one option elimination whenever upsc will use but whenever upsc will use but generally those statements are incorrect so first statement is incorrect second statement is correct because in in uh, invites are recognized as borrowers under sarfasi act 2022 so yes this is a very common it is there in every note it is there in my optima notes also and everywhere in shoot notes it is given okay the first statement because it is using but whenever but is used i have already told but is used okay if is used generally those statements are incorrect so the answer is first is incorrect second is correct first is incorrect second is correct the answer is option d let us go to the next question guys let us go to the next question guys which of the following best describes small farmer large fields guys i have given you one trick i have given you one trick the name of the trick is word play name of the trick is word play upsc is just playing with word so in that trick what did i say i said you read all the options and you find two similar options you see if you read all the four options there will be two similar options b and c many marginal farmers many marginal farmers so you just eliminate this you just eliminate this so out of this b and c you have to find one answer so you can see here many marginal farmers in an area organize themselves into a group and synchronize and harmonize selected agriculture operations here many farmers group in an area together make a contract with a corporate and surrender their land body or a fixed term for which the corporate body makes a payment on an agreed amount so obviously guys this is a very complex statement generally complex statement in upsc is incorrect so the answer is option b very easy see the point is you have not mastered the option elimination techniques guys that's why i tell you please master these techniques master these techniques only when you will be able to apply this that's why i say please solve optima please solve optima many toppers are solving optima and they are getting very high score they are qualifying the examination they are going to they are, they are even topping their civil services examination guys let us see so this question i have solved this question i have solved answer is b okay let us see next question let's question with reference to home guards consider the following guys home guards are raised under home guard act and rules of the central government guys here and is there here and is there i told you whenever compound statement and is there generally those statement will be incorrect here rules of state governments will come okay so first statement is incorrect the role of home guard is to serve as an auxiliary force in the police yes obviously any common citizen has this information that home guards are basically a uh, kind of an auxiliary force for the police and third to prevent infiltration on the international border new home guard wing okay battalion have been raised so this was our current affairs okay so this was there in news so you can easily mark 2 and 3 so the answer is only 2 so this is and you can eliminate that option elimination trick next question guys next question okay consider the following consider the following awards okay major dhyan chand khel award arjuna award drona award and rashtriya khel protsahan award guys if you see this fourth option protsahan protsahan means what you have to encourage okay so to, you see here it says to recognize the contribution made by the sports person even after their retirement guys this is an incorrect statement this is basically protsahan is for okay people who are promoting sports okay this is for people who are promote sports like organizations and all that so this statement will be incorrect and you see this statement arjuna for a lifetime achievement by the sports person no this arjuna is there are some fixed criteria if you want some gold medal in olympic and all you will get that so only option 1 and 3 is correct so answer is only 
टू नेक्स्ट गाइस नेक्स्ट लेटर सी गाइस ओके विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट रेस्पेक्ट टू द फोर्टी फोर्थ चेस ओलंपिया फोर्टी फोर्थ चेस ओलंपिया गाइज लेट अस सी दिस क्वेश्चन गाइज इफ यू सी स्टेटमेंट थ्री एंड फोर केयरफुली इफ यू सी स्टेटमेंट थ्री एंड फोर केयरफुली यू सी द ट्रॉफी द ट्रॉफी गाइज वेन एवर आई हैव से that similar statements are there they basically get interchanged so this statement is incorrect this statement is incorrect only one and two is correct so the answer is only two because this to simply everyone knows that the first time chess was olympiad was held in india last year it was a current affairs very easy and the mascot was thambi okay so this was a very easy question just rule of interchange rule of interchange you apply and you get the answer next question guys next question consider the following heavy industries fertilizers oil refineries steel plants green hydrogen is expected to play a significant role in decarbonizing how many of them guys this question i have predicted in the youtube go and you can see my youtube video at 8 minute i have predicted the same thing fertilizers plants and steel so guys in science based question answer will be always all of this so answer is correct okay let us go to the next question guys next question guys consider the following statement india accounts for 3.2% of the exports of the goods statement 2 many local companies and some foreign companies are operating in india have taken advantage of pli guys second statement is correct because pli schemes many Indi indian firms and foreign firms have taken benefit of pli so this is correct but first statement is incorrect whenever fact is there whenever fact is there generally those statements are incorrect and india's okay share in the global export of goods is less than 3% it is basically for services it is 3.2% not for the goods okay so statement 1 is incorrect statement 2 is correct so the answer is option d guys let us go to the next question guys next question is see stability and growth pact stability and growth pact of the european union is a treaty that guys this is a question we can easily solve using word play word play guys stability and growth it is basically related to what deficit it is related to what deficit guys when we have stable deficit then we will have growth but when we have suppose very high deficit then we will not have growth so the limit levels to the budgetary deficit of the european union countries so only option a is correct you read these options obviously these options looks very okay not at all related so this will be easy you can eliminate that okay stability and growth guys you must be knowing that in india also we have financial stability board we have financial stability development board okay so whenever stability you will hear here whenever growth you will hear obviously it is related to finance okay you should okay think like this see guys that's what i say upsc is all about common sense but the problem is common sense is very uncommon that's the problem and i am going to teach you that and i only stress you that guys my only thing is first i have to undo whatever you have learned because most of the students they have wrong thinking in their mind and that is why they are struggling in the prelims examination guys i have the experience of cracking the prelims examination six times guys obviously if someone is cracking six times with the highest score he must be knowing something which is not known by others because others are struggling to crack the prelims examination guys this you see this is i'm solving all question using my optional elimination method let us go to the next question guys let us go to the next question you see here with reference to the coal based thermal power okay this question i have already discussed okay coal based wala i have already discussed let us go to the next question guys see consider the following statements recently all countries of united nation have adopted first ever compact of international migration global compact for safe and orderly migration okay you see here all countries all i have told whenever all will be there this will be incorrect second objectives and commitments stated by the gcm are binding again binding extreme statement third statement the gcm addresses internal migration or internally displaced people also in its objective see or also compound stem comp compound so this will be also incorrect so answer is none of them answer is option d you see here how we can eliminate using this is this is extreme okay this is also okay compulsory compulsory statement the mandatory student are incorrect and you see compound statement let us go to the next question guys let us go to the next question guys next question you see again word play aerial metagenomics aerial metagenomics guys here the word is aerial here you see the word is aerial and here the word is genomics okay <clears throat> so it is something to do with dna because it is gen genomics and something to do with air because it is air in aerial 
you see here where air is there. So air is in this, where air is there, air is in first option. So we have only A and C and out of A and C we have DNA in only A. So answer is option A. I have already given in the last year also the polar code. The polar code question last year also I have put generally UPSC okay, will write the answer in the option A only whenever it will play word play and it will give the hint here only. You see DNA hint it has given. You see it is very easy. Yeah. The problem is even after attending my option in webinar many of the students did not attempt my did not practice my optima question. That's the problem. If they would have practiced my optima question, they would have easily made mastered these techniques. Guys, you see how I'm solving. How many marks I have scored? Just you tell me without any knowledge. How many marks I have scored? Just using optional elimination method. You calculate and you tell me when I finish this video. Okay, next question, guys. Microsatellite DNA. Microsatellite DNA. You see again, microsatellite DNA. Okay, you see, read the all options. Okay, read all the options, guys. Again, it is option A. Again, it is option A. Word play. Again, it is option A. Word play. Okay, guys. Very easy, guys. Most of the term based question is word play answer. Easily, you can get the answer. Next, you see, Janani Suraksha Yojana. Janani Suraksha Yojana. Again, you see, I have given any department, any department, any ministry. Generally, those statements are incorrect. So, you remove this statement one. It is safe motherhood intervention of the state health department. You remove this. Guys, you see this fourth uh, statement. Its objective includes public health facilities to sick infants up to one year. No, this is not the objective. You see up to one year and all it is making the assessment very compound. The objective is basically to basically go for institutional delivery. That is the main objective. So statement two and three is correct. So only two is correct. You can cut this. You can cut this. You see departments and ministries I have told you or not. You only tell me I have told you or not. Department and ministries are generally incorrect. Okay, and you see, this and this is not related. This is basically for institutional delivery. Everyone who has read little bit also GSC can easily find out. And you see here, up to one year. So, whenever there will be adjective, whenever there will be adjective, generally those statements will be incorrect. Next statement, guys. Okay, you see, consider the following actions. Detection of car crash pollution, which results in deployment of airbags almost instantaneously. Detection of accident free fall of a laptop towards the ground, which results in immediate turning off of the hard drive. Okay, third, detection of tilt of the smartphone, which results in rotation of display between portrait and landscape mode. In how many of the above actions, functions of accelerometer is required? Accelerometer is required. Guys, again, I told you science based question, all science based question, all will be the correct option. You see, 84. All will be the correct answer. Okay, guys. You see, guys, how are you saying that optional elimination is not working? You see this beauty. You see this beauty by elimination techniques. Guys, objects in space, description. Okay, cephids, giant clouds, nebula, stars, pulse, pulsars, neutron stars. Guys, I have given one elimination tricks. Whenever okay, same things will be there, star, star. Okay, out of this, only one statement will be correct. Out of this, only one statement will be correct. So what they have done, they have inter, they must have interchanged this. Okay, and okay. So this is just a hint. I'm not saying this is the answer. Okay, this is just a hint. Okay, if you apply my logic, what generally I have told that some interchange might happen. Some interchange might have happened. Okay, in these kind of questions. So whenever interchange will happen, so two questions, two options will go. Only one answer will be left. Two options will be go. Only one answer will be left. But in this case, vesicular nebula is what giant cloud. What is nebula? Giant cloud. What is nebula? Giant cloud. Okay, guys. So you can easily say only one is the answer. But okay, obviously I'm not saying that I uh, that you have to. Okay, you should know this. Okay, no. Just I'm saying that if you blindly follow my technique, also these two will be interchanged. So two options gone. Only one will be left. Although you will not get the exact answer. I'm saying somehow you will get. Okay, this this you will get this answer. Only one. If you apply my techniques. If you apply my techniques, I have given you, there will be interchange. There will be interchange. When there will be interchange, both will go. Okay. Although in this case, nebula is a giant cloud. Although in this case, nebula is a giant, giant cloud. But, 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 okay. I'm just saying you how you can apply this elevation trick and you can get this answer. Okay, somehow. Guys, because see, no one is going to ask you, how are you getting marks? No one is going to ask you. Okay. No one is going to ask you this. Okay. My point is to help you, okay, learn these techniques. 
and try to clear the cutoff. That's it. You don't have to become a PhD. You don't have to become a science professor or a space professor. You don't have to become. An IS officer is not expected to know all this. Okay, deeply. No. Just they are testing general awareness about science. My only point is that if you can you eliminate options and get the answer, what's the wrong in that? There's nothing wrong in that. Okay, next question, guys. Okay, with reference to green hydrogen, with reference to green hydrogen, okay, consider the following. It can be used in internal combustion, it can be used blended with natural gas for power plant generation. It can be used in the hydrogen fuel cells to run vehicles. Guys, can, 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 possibility, all three. Option C is the correct answer. Guys, let us go to the next question. Let us go to the next question. Guys, consider the following statements. Self-help group programs was originally initiated by the State Bank of India by providing microcredit to financially deprived one. Guys, whenever I have told you institution will be there, those statements are incorrect because here NABAD is there. NABAD will be there. So institutions are incorrect, departments are incorrect. So if you remove this, 2 and 3 is the answer. So we have only 2 as the answer. Okay, very simple. Okay. Very simple. These two statements are very, very simple. Anyone who knows little bit of the self-help group, they can easily mark these two. Because in self-help group, what? Some women come together and they support each other financially by taking loans, all that. And all the RRBs and scheduled banks, they can give, they can support this self-help group. Okay, guys. So guys, you see, okay, you let us see how many questions we have. Okay, just one second. Let us see how many questions we have okay, answered. It. Let us see how many questions we have answered. So we have two marks. One second. Sorry. So we have two marks, guys. Next, you see, we have four marks. Next, we see, we have six marks. Next we see, we have 8 marks. Next we see, we have 10 marks. Next we see, we have 12. Next guys, we have 14. This one, aerial. Okay. Next, you see this one. Okay. The global compact for migration. Okay. So we have, how much more we have? We have at 14. Okay, so we are 16 now. Okay, next. Very basic question. None, none, none. Okay. So this this I had because I had already counted this. Okay. So I'm just count here. There I will remove. So we have 18 here. Next. You see this question very easy. 20. Next. Guys, 22. Next. All the families, this uh, the question on green hydrogen, 24. Next, you see this chase, 26. Next, we have 28. Next, we have 30. Next, we have small farmers, 32. Next, but this fella, we have 34. Next, we have 36. Next, we have 38. Next, we have 40. Next, we have 42. Next, we have 44. Next, we have 44 plus 46. Next, guys, this we have already counted, so I'm leaving this 48. Okay, and we have 50. Next, la next question 52. Supreme in the that uh, uh, in this reservation on the question 52. Next, you say this 54. Okay, next, last question, 56. You see, just you see, 56 marks, 56 marks I have gifted you if you had mastered my option elimination technique. But very few of you could do that because you did not practice that. Even if you 
watch my youtube videos you did not practice that that is what i am we have been telling students guys to really make this optional innovation really effective you have to practice these techniques in day in day out in the test series and guys optimize the only test series where you can apply this because i personally frame those questions where i put this elimination technique so that you can master in the exam condition many of you will be thinking that it is very difficult to solve these questions in the exam environment guys it is not at all difficult see everything is difficult in life if we do it for the first time and everything is easy in the life if we are doing it for the hundredth time easy or not every day we get up we do brush it is easy or not okay but suppose you started for the first time it was difficult similarly when we started walking for the first time it was very difficult we were falling every time but after few years we started running it is very easy we walk so everything is easy once it becomes a habit everything is tough if we do it for the first time so guys the problem with the students is that they are eliminating options for the first time inside the exam hall by hearing some random advice guys there is no one in the country who can teach you optional elimination techniques who can help you master optional elimination techniques better than me i am saying this with a lot of humility but lot of okay what to say sincerity also because it is incumbent upon me it is my duty to help you to help each and every aspirant who is struggling to crack the prelims examination it is my moral responsibility to share the knowledge which god has given me through my experience if i do not share this knowledge with you what would i do with this knowledge i have already cracked the prelims examination all six times so i'm using this platform i'm using this channel to share my knowledge but there are few students who have some negative mindset and they are spreading some rumors that optional elevation is death guys i will just say one dialogue from one of the movies from south india one of my favorite movies favorite in the sense entertainment entertainment movies there is one dialogue that elimination 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 students and institutes hate elimination but the paper setter love elimination they can't avoid it thank you